guys, it's your girl Lizzy Bess. You are so much welcome to my channel. To my subscribers, I say thank you. And if you are new here, please do not forget to hit the red subscribe button, like, comment, and share. So guys, today I'm going to be giving you some things that are being used in nutrition. Since I said I'm going to be talking about food, food, and health. So the first thing we are going to be looking is metabolism. Metabolism is simply all those chemical reactions that occurs in the body. And metabolism is divided into anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism is simply the building up of substances within cells. That's building up of larger molecules from smaller molecules. Example of a metabolic process of an anabolic process is photosynthesis. Catabolism is simply the breaking down of complex substances in the body. Example of a catabolic process is respiration. The substances or molecules that are being used during this metabolic process are called metabolites. The next word I'm going to be looking at is frosting. Frosting is simply the process of preserving food using low temperature. This is because microorganisms that cause decay of food cannot survive under low temperature. Examples of instruments that are used in carrying out the process of frosting are freezers. The next word I'm going to be looking at is sweat. S-U-E-T. These are fats found around the kidneys of cattle, pigs or sheep that are being used in cooking food. The next word I'm going to be looking at is rust. R-O-U-X. What is rust? Rust is simply the foundation of most sources. Rust is a cooking of equal amount of fat and plain flour in a short time, known as white sauce, and in a longer time, known as brown sauce. So the equal amount, cooking of equal amounts of fat and plain flour. The next word I'm going to be looking at is braising. Braising is simply the combination of roasting and stewing in a tight fitted lid pan. Example, tough cuts of meat can be placed in the beds of fried vegetables. The next word I'm going to be looking at is bonquet gani. What is bonquet gani, guys? Bonquet gani are simply herbs that are being put in bundles tied with, with strings that are being put in food during cooking and are removed after cooking before serving. This helps give flavor to the food. Examples, bokwe gani is traditionally comprised of thyme, gloves, leeks, celery, parsley. Those are bokwe gani that are being tied in bundles put in food, which gives flavor and are removed after cooking before serving. Another word I'm going to be looking at is grazing. Grazing is the act of eating food in small, small quantities throughout the day with or without the main dish. Some manufacturers produce food such as biscuit, popcorn, that people will eat in small, small quantities before the main dish. And by doing so, you realize that your body has taken more than enough nutrients than what it requires. And it will lead to a disease known as obesity. The next word I'm going to be looking at is accompaniment. Accompaniment is something that we eat or drink with something else. Accompaniment simply means accompany, something that accompany. For example, plantain and cocky. Plantain is an accompaniment to cocky. The next word I'm going to be looking at is Provitamins. Provitamins are substances which, when eating, or are substances that are found in food that are transformed to vitamins in the body. For example, beta carotene that is found in carrot is a provitamin of vitamin A. Most of the time we eat carrot, we say carrot provides vitamin A. No, carrot contains beta carotene. And when you eat 
the carrot it provides the beta carotene the beta carotene that will be converted to vitamin a another word is anti with anti nutrients anti nutrients are substances that interferes with the absorption of nutrients in the body example of anti nutrients are phytic acids another word i'm going to be looking at is glazing glazing is the act of making a food having a shiny surface after baking for example during the making of bread or when you want to do your fish pie or your fish roll that you bake you use egg white to brush the top and after baking it appears shiny like me eh so i'm a glazing agent so examples of glazing agent are egg white sugar and so forth and so on another word i'm going to be looking at is blanching blanching is a process of plugging food in hot water and immersing in cold water to prevent enzymes example of such food that have been cooked by this process is tomato potatoes and beans this is to do what this is to prevent it that's for preservation purposes and it helps to remove the skins of the tomatoes or the skins of the potatoes another word i'm going to be looking at is poaching poaching is simply the act of cooking food under low temperature of 80 to 85 degrees that's just below boiling point in water example of such food cooked by this process is egg so we poach egg we don't boil egg we poach egg another word i'm going to be looking at is stewing stewing is a gentle method of cooking food thereby reducing the loss of moisture by evaporation and also prevent it, preventing it from drying or burning. The next word I'm going to be looking at is steaming. Steaming is a process of cooking food without the food coming in direct contact with the boiling water. But the steam from the boiling water cooks the food. Example of such food that can be cooked using steaming methods, we have cookie beans, kwa cocoa bible, a goosey pudding another word we are going to be looking at is simmering simmering is a process of cooking food under a temperature of about 80 to 99 degrees centigrade that's just below boiling point if the food doesn't boil so guys we have come to the end of this video thanks for watching i love you back to back